I love shakuhachi. Welcome back. Uh, I see you're ready to look at some more flutes. We've got uh, uh, five or six more flutes to look at. I'm here with Allison this time. Allison Yosen Richmond. What's Sharp. the rest of it? Sharp. Sharp. <laughs> Sharp. And the Nyo is because uh, we both studied under Ronnie Selden. Ronnie yes. Nyo gets you Selden. Mm, yeah. And I don't mention that that much, but his Nyo comes from Jin Nyodo. Mm. So that's how he got that yes. in appendage to his uh, performance name. Let's get underway. Okay, great. First up, we have a Tom Deaver 1 6 short flute. Okay. Pretty solid, but give it a try. Nice feel. Very nice feel. It has some, some surprising weight for a 1 6, but mm -hmm. it's still very comfortable. Yes, it is very quite versatile. You can play it very sweet and close up, but then mm. you can also like play very strong mm -hmm. performance. Definitely. Wow, wow, the Tom Deaver flute. Okay. Mm. Wow, American maker, um, solid. Uh, it's got uh, these are flush, flush rattan bindings. That's very nice. Whenever I have a uh, flute, I always do this. I think it's yeah, really, I prefer those. Really I, elegant. You yeah, don't I even prefer notice those that. kinds of bindings. It blends right in. Mm. So I consider yeah. this a beautiful flute. You know, it's funny how some flutes are old and they're light colored, and others are really dark. Mm. It's just, that's the way it is. Great. Yeah, very versatile flute. So next up, a uh, maker we all know and love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the knowing uh, comfort level of this is a Zen Mora mm -hmm. flute. He was really quite famous in the 70s. Mm -hmm. He was really well known. And um, it was my first bamboo flute. I played uh, for yeah, 10 I, years. I was I, ex an exclusive Zen Mora. Yeah. Uh, you know, I only played Zen Morris because, you know, uh, it was so easy just to make a sound with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it was very encouraging as a new student to have a Zen Mora. Uh, they're also very, it also feels very comfortable as well. Uh, my Zen Mora has also lasted, you know, as, you know, lasted in terms of getting cracks, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't remember having that problem. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, really don't I, remember. I have to confess, yeah. I leaned my Zen Mora uh -huh. up against a radiator Yikes. in a coffee shop. Ouch. And I'm finishing my coffee, and where's my flute? It's not on the... And it's leaning against the radiator. It was uh -huh. hot. It was hot. Uh -huh. It did not crack. Wow. It did not crack. Wow, that's amazing. And I played it for 10 years, and then mm -hmm. I thought I would move up to a, you know, super uh -huh. flute that cost twice as much. Mm -hmm. So I did, and, and it was not as easy to play as the Zen Mora. Mm -hmm. It took me many years to get used to it. Oh, interesting. And I left the Zen Mora in the closet for two years. Mm -hmm. It cracked. Oh, okay. Broken heart. It, 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 yes. <laughs> I felt like I you cracked that it. one. Yeah, yeah, you are oh, bad Oh, gosh. So <laughs> if you have a shakuhachi, you must play it. Never. Yep. And I have to say this, honestly. Don't get too many shakuhachis. Get just two or three really good ones. Yes. And take them all out and play yeah. them. Yeah. I wish I had to. Hey, let's play this one. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. Lona. 
And that's a 1.7. That's wow. shorter than the 1.8 and mm -hmm. has that fullness. Yes. Nice flute. Mm -hmm. Nice flute. Uh, absolutely no corrects, like we were mm. saying. But yeah. Okay, I mean, that doesn't mean, if you see a flute that's been bound a million times, ah, well, it could still be worth that's a right. ton of money mm -hmm. and, and play really nice. It's absolutely. just that he's just something about it. I don't know what he does to treat them. Mm -hmm. Mysteries. And so, uh, let's go on to the rest of the next one. Okay, great. Okay, Shinsui. This is a flute with a cork, cork joint. Cool. Yeah, I know. And uh, it's styled on, on a lay. It's turned on a, on a wooden lay made out mm. of apple wood. Now, you told me that you played many wooden shakuhachi before mm. you bought a bamboo flute. Uh -huh, so yeah. that's why I wanted to show you this baby and, yeah. and see what you think. Yeah, especially, oh, check out the Utabuchi. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. It's pretty. It's ivory. So yeah, that's what I was nice, thinking. Yeah, an nice ivory Utabuchi as well. Mm. You want to try? Okay. Easier to play. Oh, okay. Produce a sound, but um, I, I tried it before. I found it was a little harder to play mm -hmm. than I expected. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, the amplitude is different. Yes. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Now I have it. Try it again. Let me just. Yeah, I think we have to warm up to this a little bit. Yeah. It, it is a kind of sweet, mellowy kind hmm. of sound. And they're not going to crack these. That's, that's oh, the big yeah, that's advantage the, of these. Yeah. Oh, gosh. The others have yeah. all, you've seen the binding. That's because it starts splitting at one end or the mm. other. Yeah. But this is turned on a lathe, so it's mm. stable, and it's always yes. going to be like this. That's you don't right. have to worry. And this is just a decorative piece here. Mm -hmm. You don't really yeah. need to have a, a beautiful utaguchi and wooden flutes. But yeah, but it's still nice. It's a nice contrast with the um, with the uh, with the darker wood. And they sound different, different kinds of mm. wood. Yes. Apple wood. That's some Definitely. Wood. You don't want to play this loud. And I don't think it can really play loud. No, not but, really. But that really sweet, sweet kind of melody you were mm -hmm. playing, this is just perfect. Okay, let's move on. Here's one that, it's a little heavier. Mm. We've gotten spoiled on the lighter flutes. Yes, flute. yeah, we have. Uh, this one, I can't read the hanko. Take a look if you know who's Mark, that is, uh, mm -hmm. let me know, and I'll just put it in the information. And uh, mm, let me give this a try. So this is a 1-9, so it's about this much longer than a 1-8, so it plays a nice, rich kind of sound. Very mellow, yeah. I, I love this. I spaced look. right out. This feels crisp like a Zamora, <laughs> uh, but it's rich sound. Yes. To me. Yes, it I is. I mean, you know. Very mellow. I would just, and it's got a very interesting band in the middle. I don't know how they had that done. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's the it's stripes in it. So. Yeah, oh, that is cool. What do you think of this one? Yeah. It's one nine. Okay.
what makes me want to play half tones and half notes. And <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> Mary's. That's... Yeah, this is like uh, I would call this the the Mary flute. So you because... really use this for Zen, this one here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, and I really like playing Mary's on this. Yeah. Huh. For some reason, yeah, I didn't even cross my mind to play them on these flutes, but for this one, it did. Oh, I wonder if that's just because of the quality of the I think it's built. It's yeah, built for I think, that kind of articulation. I, I think it's just the, I think the notes just, um, I think it's because it's a mellower flute. It hmm. has two, I think that's part of the reason why. Hmm. But I, I do like, um, I do like the, uh, I do like the, the mellower quality of this. Hmm. So uh, it would lend itself more to mm -hmm. uh, Zen meditation music because mm -hmm. it is not a good flute. Mm -hmm. Very nice feel, very nice weight. And even with my small hands, I, you know, like, because I tend to like much lighter flutes. Mm -hmm. My main flute is much lighter, but uh, this one, I still, you know, I still felt very comfortable holding it. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so it's a, it's a longer flute that's very articulate. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Okay. And it's kind of interesting that you can go straight from a 1A to a, a shorter flute to this without any problem at all. I didn't really have a problem mm. with that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. And the uh, final flute. There's something kind of fun. Okay, I'm looking A surprise flute. This. A surprise flute. Okay, this is totally live, so here we go. Huh. Whoa. <coughs> this is a float? <laughs> this is a float. That's the way bamboo really grows. Wow. That's really nice. What a funky end. Isn't that cool? <laughs> totally. totally. So where, uh, where do you blow it and where does the sound come out? Oh my God, this is not a shabachi. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that? What, what's that? What's that? No, no, look at that closely. What's, is, there, is that something in there? You mean living? Yeah. Is that is that a cobweb? It's a cobweb. Oh, okay. But there's nothing. There's <laughs> Has a spider gonna come? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't make a spider come out. There's no thumb. Okay, so here we go. Cool. <laughs> oh well. A okay. Conversation piece. Surprise your friends. Uh, yeah, really. And um, the the last flute of this video, another surprise flute is. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the... Whoa, okay. If you have a double thumb. Wow. If you one with a double thumb. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, one of these... Uh, uh, I, call, oh, yeah. I call them Frankenflutes? Yeah, it's a Frankenflute. Franken yeah, flute. yeah, it has a, it comes apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for someone who wants... Um, a European sound, but doesn't want to buy the European flute. Uh, maybe it's like an inventor with too much time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, double thumb hole. Oh my uh, god. And uh, one, wow. two, three, giant holes. How many fingers do we have? <laughs> Five, okay, I need, and an this extra, is all I need an extra two hands. But it is a shakuhachi. Yep, uh, yeah, this one is. I'm missing something. One of these multiple holes is not covered, if that's what happens. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know what's going on with these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Conversation piece for sure. Con conversation piece. But uh -huh. we do have... I've never actually seen a Franken flute. So yeah, it's... yeah. It yeah. is kind of interesting to see one. I think I have to pay somebody to take it. I don't <laughs> think I can see. So we have some real flutes here. I mean, so, you know. But some people yeah. are really into Franken flutes. I, yeah. am, I am not. Well, okay. Yeah, I'm not a Franken flute person. <laughs> I love shakuhachi. Yeah, real, real shakuhachi. <laughs> Seven nodes, five holes. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, that's me. One thumb mm -hmm. hole. Yes. We have single. Yes. Single well, <laughs> no, not the double thumb hole. No, no. <laughs> Well, thanks for being on the show and having <laughs> me put pleasure. you on the spot. <laughs> we'll have to do it again sometime. Absolutely. Okay. Goodbye. And uh, interested in these flutes, you just follow the links and you can see them on eBay while they, while they last. And uh, some of them will last quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Frank and flute. <laughs> <laughs>
like somebody cleaned out their basement. Oh, well, well, to me, if you want a European flute sound, why don't you just buy a European freaking flute? Why I, do you I need to? I have those. I have so many seven holes. Either buy shakuhachi or buy the freaking European flute. Why does it need to be both things? And uh, once again, I'm gonna like introduce you. The name is Allison. Nielsen Richmond Show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Okay. Blah, blah, blah.